So I've been heads down working on testing every one of these coding agents. And it is a lot of work to get through. And there's more that I actually want to add to this list. My hope is that over time, I can actually expand this to be a little bit more automated than how manual it is today. But in this particular case, I'm going to be evaluating each of these models based on a subset of my whole eval set that I have. I'm going to be doing it with Claude 4, Claude 3.7, and Gemini Pro 2.5. 0506, which I probably will drop next month, which I'll talk more about here in a little bit. Now, the way I do that is what I'm really caring about is instruction following. I do a series of unit tests, and then I have LLMs as a judge. LLM as a judge. In this particular case, I'm using Claude 3.7 thinking as a judge. I found it to be very consistent. I can run the same eval through it again and again and again and get very, very little variance with the way I have that prompted. Instruction following, what I care about that is I tell it to do something, does it do the thing that I tell it to do? And then unit testing is really testing the functionality, and what the LLM as a judge is testing is the quality of the code overall, giving it poor examples and good examples. And there are a lot that I have not included. Some like Lovable and Bolt I may never include, but others like Ader I may actually try to get working well enough to be able to include in this kind of eval set. I know there's some of you in the back. Yes, I see you back there. You're about to type furiously. Why didn't you test whatever, whatever agent? It takes a lot of time to get through these. And if you would leave me comments on ones that you really care about, I would love to actually get that feedback so I can make sure I'm prioritizing the ones that make the most sense to all of you. So let's start with Gemini Pro 2.50506. Coming in at third place, it's RuCode with a score of 5,980. And this actually surprised me because anytime I get below 60 now, like 6,000, I actually think the quality is not that great. And it wasn't that long ago that this was like a high quality output. So I would say Gemini Pro 2.50506, based on the evaluations that I've done, performed fairly worse than the Claude models. Even though ZAI was a surprising entry here for me at 6,240, it is a pretty substantial boost over root code, much less tool failures, higher quality code, passed more of the unit test. So it is a quite a decent boost here. So ZAI, very interesting to see that hit this list here. And then Klein, this one surprised me a ton, not much more than ZAI, but slightly takes in the first place finish here. So Klein had very little tool failures in all the ones I ran. It actually did a okay job on the coding quality, but again, this is all relatively lower quality than what I was getting with the 0325 model back when we were on the older version of Gemini Pro. Overall, you can look at the standings like this. We have Klein, followed by Zed with just a small fraction of a difference there, followed by RuCode. Trey makes its appearance here. I know a lot of you have asked about testing that. That's slightly behind RuCode here. And then it drops off big time with GitHub Copilot, Cursor, and Windsurf in my tests. Uh, there's a huge jump down from Trade to GitHub Copilot. And from there, it drops down. I was actually surprised to see Windsurf in last place here. But it just did a, it did a very poor job working with this particular model. Now, if we move to Claude 3.7, the scores change drastically. We have ZAI again, but this time in third place with a very respectable... 67.80 for a score. And then we jump into second place with Rue Code at 71.80. That is a massive jump. Anything over 7,000, I found it just to be a exceptional quality. Really, really, really good quality. And then they, something that you may have never even heard of, which I had never heard of, and very consistently, it's the Void Editor, which is like an open source version of Cursor takes the top spot of 7,280. You know, not a massive jump over root code, but a noticeable enough jump over root code. I was very surprised by this. And even though uh, Void Editor did not have Claude 4.0 available, so I couldn't actually test it there, I do actually want to keep an eye on this because if they can get the update cadence correct, like I, I saw someone had done a PR already for Void Editor, but if you download the executables or the install files, you don't actually get access to Claude 4. So anyway, we're going to go and look at the overall for Cloud 3.7. You see Void at number one. We've got Rue Code and Zed. We talked about those. 
Surprisingly, GitHub Copilot comes in just slightly behind Zed. And then Cursor comes in in fifth place here, slightly behind GitHub Copilot. Then we have Klein, which surprised me because we went from Klein being top dog with uh, Gemini 2.5 Pro to now kind of in the bottom, lower mid, below, uh, bottom half of the Cloud 3.7 ones. Trey drops off big time here too, which I was also very disappointed in. And then Windsurf drops off uh, substantially here. So very fascinating to kind of see the shift here from month to month because it wasn't that long ago that Windsurf was actually performing really well with Cloud 3.7. And now something's reverted along the way there where it's not performing as well anymore. So we're going to jump over to Cloud 4.0. And then now Windsurf has a boost. So now it takes third spot at 7,080. Still less than Cloud 3.7, which is also something to keep in mind there. Trey comes in with its first entry on the leaderboard uh, with a 71.20. So some some of the things that were not working good. So let me go back here for a second. Trey and Windsurf are the bottom two for Cloud 3.7. Very, very surprising to see both of them on the top three and two for Cloud 4. So maybe they tweak something or tune something to make it work better with Cloud 4, which also regressed 3.7. Not totally sure there, but it is a very fascinating result. And then Cloud Code actually takes the top spot. Now, some things I can only test with uh, Cloud 4, like Cloud Code and Augment Code. So I can't test uh, those particular agents on other models. Cloud Code took a very respectable 7170, fairly decent i mean a 50 point uh, mark up over tray so not substantial but it's you know it's decent noticeable enough now this is a lot to talk through here because i've got a few things highlighted in orange and yellow augment code for example scored actually towards the bottom of the pack which it to me i think it's the nature of what augment code is built for my evals are highly geared towards creating new applications now. So that's very important to kind of note. And I think augment code is probably we weaker on that side, where I would like to actually build some evals where I can actually consistently modify existing code to see if augment gets a boost from that. Regardless of that, I think it's worth noting that using different prompting techniques with Cloud 4, like telling it to ultra think or think harder, had very marginal differences, where if I do that with Claude Code, Claude Code massively changes. So it does use UltraThink substantially different. You get a very, it basically um, will almost force it into doing its own checklist and it'll go through iteratively on it. It's actually incredible. Surprisingly here, we look at uh, the top four here, or we took at the fourth place here, we got Zed followed by cursor, followed by root code. So all of the ones around 67, 80 and above, you know, that's relatively the same. You're, there's not a lot of variance there. But augment code does drop off quite a bit. And then you've got the regular cloud code without prompting it to ultra think. And you've got GitHub Copilot tailing the end here. So very interesting results overall. Uh, I am very excited about cloud code because I do feel that on a day-to-day -day basis that I do think it's like one of the better agents both from a new and existing code base standpoint which i'll talk about here in a little bit now a few things just to note here void i did not have an option for me to set up cloud 4 which i mentioned already ultra think impacts cloud code a ton more than i thought and i was surprised by augment code but maybe not so surprised because i think augment code's power is with its context engine and when you're evaluating something on creating and solving new problems it's not going to be able to use that context engine to its benefit. So from a pure agent zero to one standpoint, augment code is probably on the weaker side. All right, so taking a look at this, I wish I had a better way to represent this. I got to figure out a better way to graph it. But what this represents is kind of the consistency across the three models. Lower is better. So here Z would have been number one. The red ones, you got to ignore, uh, unfortunately, but it kind of gives you an idea of where they are. For example, Void, we ran one test. It finished first. Augment Code and Cloud Code, we ran two tests, but both of those were done with Cloud 4. So Cloud Code, for example, finished first on one, but it also finished really bad if you didn't prompt it a particular way. So again, ignore those. But from the other agent standpoint across those three models, Zed's number one, Rue Code's number two, both very similar uh, performance there. 
Then we jump to Trey. So first Z root code Trey. Trey, I'm very happy that was recommended to me. That is a actually a really, really good um, AI coding assistant. So I've been very happy with that. I was surprised by Windsurf's fall off uh, overall. And a lot of that is because of its performance with Gemini 2.5 Pro and its performance with uh, Claw 3.7, which was surprisingly worse over time from the last time I ran it through. So this has all been ran more recently. So any updates that have happened to models or agents will be encompassed in this. And then Klein, we have almost coming in there and tying with Trey, but just slightly behind uh, Trey here. Cursor, Wind Surf are pretty equal. I mean, 15, 16, you know, we've got one, one point apart. And then Caleb Copilot very consistently last place, which is so unfortunate. Now, I want to give you my subjective ranking here. Now, this is one that's not backed off of pure data like the other ones are. But this is what I use on a daily basis. Thought it would be interesting to give a little bit more flavor on it. I still think Rucode is one of my top three. I And honestly, the data kind of backs it up to a certain point. What I love about Rucode is how configurable it is. I have so many custom modes that I've made that just work with my style that it sort of got me built into this system that I'm just kind of locked into. So there's more to it than just how it performs in my opinion, because a lot of the tests that I'm doing are purely based on the default code mode out of group code, all the tests I'm doing rather, but I can customize them so highly and I do have them customized so highly. I just have a workflow that I really like. Not to mention boomerang mode actually bumps in my opinion, the usability of root code up a lot. And I also really, really, really love just being able to, um, some of the new updates that they've done, being able to actually read multiple files at the same time and stuff like that. That stuff started to like, just add really awesome features to your code overall. Augment code is my number two, even though it didn't perform very well on new code, Augment code is one of the best context engines on the market bar none, if not the best. I use this when I am just digging in to understand an existing code base. If I have an open source project I'm loading up, within minutes, I can go into augment code, find out exactly where I need to go in code, and isolate, start isolating the part I need to work on. There's just no alternative to that. It's just so good. And it also does a really good job working with existing code. Its agent is getting updated a lot, and you can feel that on a day-to-day -day basis. So sometimes the agent seems to do really well. Other times it doesn't. One of the most annoying things to me is it will just stop working and say, hey, I'm calling a tool call with too many things. I'm just not going to do anything anymore. So it is wonky. And from an agent standpoint, I think Rue code is better. From a context engine standpoint, I think Augment code is better. And we've got Claude code as number one. This is just become my workhorse. I love working in the CLI. And yes, I'm running it in WSL mostly. I also do run it in Linux and in Mac. But Claude Code, if you learn how to prompt it and talk to it, it's just so freaking good. And the fact that you can pay for a max plan and just get basically, I mean, I, I don't want to say unlimited because it's not. They'll hit you with limits, but basically unlimited uh, access to everything. It's huge. So I, I would highly consider that my number one AI coding assistant right now. And this is going to wrap up this video. I put a ton of time into it. I am going to be working on launching a website just to be able to like put my findings up on it so it's easier to reference. You don't have to watch an entire video. But I wanted to get this out there because this, I want to have this for the month of June, going into June, sort of the objective rankings, the consistency rankings, and then the subjective rankings. And these are going to change probably month over month, very, very much so because I'm going to be improving the way I'm testing and models are going to change and agents are going to change. So anyway, if this has been helpful to you in any way, please let me know in the comments below what agents you'd like me to add to this test. It takes a lot of time. So if there's some you don't care about, also tell me about that too, because I wouldn't mind uh, wiping a couple off. But some are surprise entries to me, like Void and Trey did better than I expected. And if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing to this video to help with the YouTube algorithm, I would very much appreciate it. Till next time, everyone. Peace out.